Just last month, Dole defended his decision to send the check back, saying he doesn't support the group's agenda. Now he says just because a candidate takes money from a group doesn't mean he agrees with them. Students at Hasbrook High School in New Jersey better watch what they say, even if they're not in class. Three teenagers have been suspended for chanting what some call an anti-Semitic slur during a talent show. Others think political correctness has just gone too far. New Jersey correspondent Roger Stern reports. While their Hasbro Heights high school friends are in class, Albert Min, J.M. Burr, and Len Longo are sitting out a five-day suspension. Not for bringing weapons to school, not for cutting classes, but for chanting the syllable oi over and over again as part of a punk rock performance during a school talent show and then later after the show was over. Two students in the audience found oi, 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 anti-Semitic. They say we're racist, we're skinheads, we, our words don't even touch race at all. It was a British working class salute and uh, the punk rockers from Britain just incorporated that into their music and we just, we just did the same. Was this political correctness run amok? <laughs> I'm not sure. But even so, the school superintendent referred the matter to the local police as a possible bias crime. The three were taken to headquarters, read their rights in question, and then released after police found there was no bias, bouncing it all back to the school. And what did the principal do? He suspended them, even though school officials admit no one intended to be anti-Semitic. Principal Paul Pallack, who would not appear on camera, says he stands by the decision, as does his boss because they chanted without permission. That we need to be more sensitive to other people's uh, multicultural differences and that even though you may not intend to hurt someone, you have a responsibility of, of, of being sensitive to, to, the, to the concerns of your neighbor. But the student's parents are upset. To be taken to the police station uh, for something before it was even examined carefully, yes. What about the suspension? I'm against that. I don't think that's right. It's just a bunch of garbage that people decide to throw together, in my opinion. And we're not racists. We're not bloody racial skinheads. We just enjoy playing our music. And many of his classmates agree. I actually think it was uh, blown way out of proportion because I don't think it was meant to hurt anyone. School officials hope the three learn a lesson. They probably will, but not necessarily the lesson the school had intended. In Hasbro Heights, Roger Stern for the Channel 11 News at 10. One of New York's finest is being honored in Miami as Police Officer of the Year. 32-year-old Arlene Beth reports from Hasbro Heights. <laughs> The punk band Utter Confusion slammed out those lyrics at the Hasbro Kites High School talent show last week. Now they're getting slammed with charges that the phrase is anti-Semitic. So after some students complained to administrators, the rowdy talent show contestants got police questioning and a five-day suspension for the word that's sometimes used by sub-cult punkers in Europe who bash minorities. The literal meaning is it's a working class salute, a British working class salute. They claim, stripped of their punk trappings, the lyrics have a positive spin. I don't even care what you're like. I don't even care if you're black or white. Playwright and actor Abby Hoffman, creator of the play, too Jewish. If these kids intended to demean Jews or any other ethnicity, then I think they should be punished. But, you know, people can be sensitive to a lot of things, and, and a lot of times people are oversensitive. The superintendent tells me police did not find it to be a biased crime. However, he says there are important lessons for the suspended band members to learn. There's consequences for your behavior, whether you intend or not to intend, intend to hurt, but clearly there were people who were hurt by this incident. The whole thing has Hasbro High students divided. I think that's totally cruel, and I don't think they should have suspended them. That oi, oi, oi was used, you know, when the Nazis used to, like, make fun of the Jewish people. The teen's parents say when it comes to possible slurs, they are the toughest judges. I was not raised that way. I will not allow anything racist in my home. In Hasbro Heights, New Jersey, Mario Bosquez, Fox News. The parents are appealing the suspension. They're worried about their son's records. That's permanent school records. Well, they have a law in Nassau County that bans the sale of 